What's up now? So they still going in on Diddy, people. Now, five former employees of Diddy came out about his abuse in the workplace. Now, one lady says that he smashed her face. He, sm she, he smashed her cheeks in, people. No Diddy. Smashed her cheeks in, told her to stick out that tongue because he wanted to see if it was bleeding while he smashing her goddamn face. You let a man smash your motherfucker. <laughs> that ain't even funny, but this is what they are saying, all right? Huh? I mean, people were so scared of Diddy. They ain't scared today, though. They tell him like a motherfucker. They were so scared of Diddy that, that they, they would turn on each other. The employees, they would say, oh, he did it. She did it. You know what I'm saying? They would throw each other under the bus so Diddy wouldn't, you know, discipline them. Like smashing your damn cheeks in, making you bite your tongue and shit. Like, what the fuck? I ain't never seen no shit like that. Um, and then it was something I seen where Diddy whooped a female, a college student. I guess he was dating or something back in the day with a belt. He took his goddamn belt off like Pootie Tang. Man, said he took his belt off like Pootie Tang, people, and whooped somebody. Like, what? That's how your mama should have did your stink ass. Now see, Diddy, Diddy is not going anywhere from this, people. He's eventually going to go to jail, and I can't wait, all right? Um, now, in an interview, Young Miami said, you can have fame and money and still be an evil, spirit, nasty, conniving person. People think she talking about Diddy. I believe she talking about Diddy. You know what I'm talking about? She uh, unfollowed Diddy last week or so, you know? Hey man, what? Now I remember when she said Diddy pissed on her. She likes to be peed on, but that comes out that that was a lie. She was just playing with the masses. She was just playing with y'all, I guess. Huh? That's all alleged. If she was getting peed on or not. So they getting peed on. They drinking blood allegedly, and you know, sacrificing people allegedly. Now. Big has, has had his share of that sacramental shit now, people, and we know this. Rest in peace to Pac and Big. You know what I'm saying? Uh, J-Lo. Jennifer Lopez canceled her tour. Now, some people are insinuating, they are implying that she canceled that because, you know, all this Diddy stuff going on. They, and they people are thinking that she's going to be wrapped up in some stuff. You know what I'm saying? And maybe so if her damn name keep coming up. But, but, Jennifer Lopez says the tickets wasn't selling. All right? So she stopped that shit. I don't know what made her think that she, she thinks she Michael Jackson status or something. Only Michael Jackson can sell out tours and shit like that. I know other people can too, but I'm just making an example. You know what I'm saying? J-Lo can't. <laughs> J-Lo can't, people. Huh? Huh? Now, in conclusion to this video, Tisa Tails, shout out to Tisa Tails. She had Natanya on her damn platform. The lady that says Diddy allegedly pow pow her in the face at that club when J-Lo was there. And Sean was there. And Sean took the rap for Diddy. He took the whole rap because it comes out that Natanya says that she's seen two guns firing off. From what she could see. Right? One of them was coming from the Diddler. And one was coming from Sean. But she says she knows. She is for sure. That when she got shot. That shit came from Diddy. Hmm? Now her story people. Has not changed over the years. And her story. Was so heartbreaking. Alright. It had Tisa Tails in tears. She was dapping her eyes and everything. And I got and I got a little teary eye too. I ain't gonna front. Because the madness of this man, people, the capacity he will go to to cover up things he has done, to do the things he has done, you know, and, and, and keep living like he ain't did shit. Um, it's very scary. You gotta watch some type of people that don't 
that will get their hands dirty if they need to and the people that don't have to get their hands dirty to get some shit done. You see what I'm saying? Um, he's definitely going down, all right? Now, she had got a large sum of money back then. She said it took 12 years for them to settle with her. And that money had to come out of Diddy's pocket, not an insurance or nothing. It came out of his pocket. And she says she believes he is, he still haven't got over that. Right? <laughs> she said it got to the point where she had to move out of New York, people. I think she went to Atlanta. Because that's where she is. That's where she resides now. You feel me? And... She feared for her life. That's some sad ass shit. And she said everybody in New York knew what was going on. You see what I'm saying? When is they going to take the key back from uh, Diddy, the key to New York City? Take that key back. Strip him from everything. That last business endeavor he had has left him alone. So he has no more business endeavors. Nobody's going to do business with him. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if this shit blow over. I would never do business with him because his name is all toe up, people. For for the rest of his life, his name is toe up, people. That's why he just need to go to jail. All right? Damn. He's a straight fool, people. A straight monster. Now, anyway, y'all get in the commentaries. Little update on Diddy situation. You know what I'm saying? It ain't getting no better. It ain't going to get no better, people. And I'm loving it. Huh? huh? I love that shit. His ass need to go to jail right now. Message.